When teachers complain about their pay, one of the most common retorts I see online is teachers knew what they signed up for. It's like saying Frodo knew what would happen when he left the Shire. So let me paint this picture. I got hired, and on the first day I got hired, they handed me a piece of paper showing pay and scheduled raises. It honestly didn't look that bad, and with pay going up with the cost of living, well, I could handle that. Not so fast. Then, like Elsa, for the first four years, my pay was frozen due to their lack of funds. Then, also like Elsa, when our pay became unfroze, we were told our last four years of raises, we should just let it go. Then, my fifth year of teaching, the state government decided to take 3% out of each and every paycheck for the retirement package that they mismanaged and now need help recouping the funds for. You know, that retirement that I was told was part of my package. So then, five years into teaching, my take-home pay is actually less than the first day I started. Taking 3% of my pay that you've already frozen for the last four years is like the school bully taking your lunch money and then also taking the gum out of your mouth. Then came the money for class supplies. For years, we got a check that covered the cost of some supplies within our classroom. But then they started giving the check to an outside for-profit company and putting all these restrictions on what we could and couldn't buy for our class. I bought an electric pencil sharpener for my classroom, which they said wasn't allowed because they deemed it furniture. So they took the funds out of my paycheck to cover the cost of the pencil sharpener, but refused to put the funds back into the electronic account so that I could get more supplies. And the funds they took from my paycheck, they just used to pay bills, not buy supplies. Wish I was lying. Which, side note, that same for-profit company that we use just got a contract in Idaho to handle $50 million in funds for low-income families. By the way, at a cost of $2 million of those funds. I think the families would rather have the money. Back to the steps. Each year I was employed, they never even gave us the steps on the first day anyways. They just held the funds the full year and then just collected the interest on our money. The one year they did give us a raise, they gave us $900. Great! And then increased the cost of insurance for a spouse by $1,200. Then they froze our steps again at the time that the stock market was making record gains. The best economy we've ever seen and teachers' pay is frozen. Unless you were a superintendent, then you got your raise. Twice the district raised the starting pay of new teachers in order to lure them in, but they reduced the step increases for the veteran teachers to cover for the new teachers. Never actually offering more money, just squeezing a balloon, leaving veteran teachers feeling deflated. Literally. The most recent time they did this, not only did they suggest lowering the steps for the veteran teachers, but they suggested actually reducing the pay for the support staff. That's right, the governor actually signed a deal to get us more money that resulted in support staff getting paid less? Now what about pay for performance? We did have that for a while. Most recently you had to have great evaluations, good test scores, oh, and your entire school had to have an overall 3% gain. Guess what? No matter how great of a teacher you were, over 40% of the schools in the state didn't even qualify for a bonus. Sorry Michelle Pfeiffer, you tried. Even recent emergency COVID funds that were sent directly by the federal government have been put away by the district for a rainy day fund. Gee, let's hope that rainy day comes soon. Maybe we can paddle out and meet it through these floodwaters. So to sum it up, the sheet they handed me on the first day, complete lie. Yet this sheet is still published online for incoming teachers as if it actually means something. My pay was frozen 60% of the time that I worked. Not once was a step given when it was supposed to be. The state took money they just mismanaged. And the only people seeing raises were the people that worked at the district office and the for-profit companies that were milking your tax dollars dry. By the way, this is only addressing the topic of pay for teachers. Respect and well-being, completely different video. Oddly enough, usually met with the same response. They knew what they signed up for. I'll address that one next time.